Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun in our solar system. That's the planet Neptune. I'm reading about it in my book. Neptune is the furthest planet from the sun in our solar system. It's so far that it took scientists some time to spot it. But Neptune is very big. Nearly four times bigger than the Earth. It looks so peaceful. I could go there to read my book. You might get a bit distracted on Neptune, Chester. Why? It's a very cold planet with strong winds and raging storms. It's what's called an ice giant. Ice giant? That means it's made of rock and ice with slushy, icy liquid on the surface. Look! Neptune's got spots! What do you think they are, Chester? My book says the dark spots on Neptune are actually storms! Hmm. Yep. Definitely easier to read all about Neptune than read on Neptune. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun. Welcome to the eight planets in our solar system. This one is the biggest of them all. It's Jupiter, and it's super massive. You could fit 1,300 Earths into Jupiter, Gorby. It also has the biggest moon, Ganymede, and the, of the Great Red Spot. The storm has been going for 300 years. Whoa! 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 What's also special about Jupiter is that it has a solid core, and the rest of it is made up of gas. Jupiter and Saturn are both gas planets. Gas planets? <laughs> they could have a competition to see who's the smelliest. P.U. Good job, Jupiter. The biggest in everything. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. So many stars. Wait a minute. What's that? It looks like a red dot. That's the planet Mars. It's red because it's covered in iron oxide or rust. I wonder what I'd find on Mars. What's that? That's a Mars rover. These are robots which take photographs so we can see the landscape of Mars. Mars isn't just red. It's brown, wool, gold, and green. <gasps> and look at that deep canyon. That's Valles Marineris, the deepest canyon in the solar system. And that's one super high mountain. It's called Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system. It's three times the height of Mount Everest on Earth. Well, Mars certainly holds a few records in the solar system. So long, Mars the Mighty. Goodbye. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun in our solar system. That's the planet Uranus, Gorby. It's turned over to one side. We should tell someone. Uranus is tilted, Gorby, so its rings are vertical. That means they are going from up to down instead of side to side. And the planet spins on its side. Whew. Oh, okay. But how did that happen? Scientists think Uranus might have been knocked onto its side by many impacts with space objects. <laughs> Look! It has moons! Uranus has at least 27 moons orbiting it and 13 rings. It's a very busy planet. It's what's called an ice giant, Gorby. 
That means it's made up of a slushy, icy liquid with rock and gas in the center. If Uranus is an ice giant, does that mean it's bigger than Earth? Uranus is four times the size of Earth. So, if the Earth was the size of an orange, Uranus would be the size of a... Hmm... Basketball! That's a good way to imagine it, Corby. I've got an idea. If I lean over, then Uranus looks up right. <laughs> Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. It looks like that planet has a hula hoop around it. What makes Saturn special is that it's a gas planet with rings around it. We can see them from Earth with a telescope. Wow, they're so bright and so big. Yep, three of the other planets in our solar system, Uranus, Jupiter, and Neptune, also have rings, but not as bright and big as Saturn's. What are the rings made of? Ice and rock. Scientists believe that moons, which once surrounded Saturn, broke into pieces when they were hit by asteroids. They look like sparkly dust. Some of the pieces are as small as pencil points. Others are bigger than houses or elephants. Wow, amazing! And from Earth, Saturn's rings really do look just like my hula hoop. Time to get spinning! <laughs> 